All right, it's time to head back to school because Strange Academy is on the drop list. Welcome back, gainers, to another incredible, exciting, fantastic episode of Comic Game Time. If you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Royal Highness doing that princess wave. You do it too, bad out of respect, of course. There's Coco Dog. There she is. There All she right, is. guys. Today is Monday, and well, we'd like to do something every Monday, isn't that, Zach? Yeah. Try to take over the world. No, do the drop list. Yep. That, yeah, right after the second one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So on Monday, we, uh, we like to put together the five most dropped comics of the week, and uh, we like to also put them in order from first to last, because if you're not first, you're last. Right, Zach? Shake and bake. Yep. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, Got a good list for you today, and we also have a good drink for you today. Super size me. It's a margarita mix, guys. It has a margarita, and it's a mix. No, I think it's tequila. Tequila. That's the oh, real no. deal. Real lime juice and natural flavors. De, de, de agave wine. Yummy. I don't know if it's. It's 12 for 7% alcohol, 1.5 milliliters, and everything else. Sugar and spice and everything nice. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I'm trying to get drunk. There's a point two in there somewhere. I'm sure. I'm point two to the best part. Mm. 12.7. Yeah, right. and also is the best part? Hanging out with us on what now? Yeah, every Saturday at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Princess goes first and has the greatest show on whatnot, and that leads directly into Adam and Zach's show which uh, is at 6 p.m. now. We switched places, so hopefully that's easier for you guys because mm -hmm. it's easier for us. But uh, everything starts at a dollar thirty second option, so come hang out with us. You'll have a good time and get those gains. That's what Absolutely. Like to say. All right, let's get back to the drop list. Okay, for everyone that is new to the drop list, this is what we do every week. We scour the internet for hot lists, trending lists from one year ago, and we try to figure out which one of those books are... Uh, dropped in price and we put them in order from least to most dropped and uh yeah let's kick it off right here we've got number five on the list dc hell arisen issue number three from 2020 oh. Woo. beautiful book steve epney and james tynan the fourth doing the work on this good book and this book was important because it is a uh, first full appearance of punchline <laughs> Don't forget you have Batman 89 as the cameo, but I think uh, Hell Arisen is the is the First one to go four. after. That's definitely the money book. But uh, last year, you got Punchline had another book come out called uh, Gotham Game, and it was doing really well, her solo story. Mm -hmm. And that kind of gave this book a little more jump a year oh. ago. And uh, she's kind of been on a little bit of a wave, like up and down, Punchlines. You know, it's definitely something that was started out really strong, and then people kind of thought a lot of those James Tynan characters dropped off. But I think Punchline might be here to stay. So um, definitely something to look out for. She's only number five on the drop list, so not too far down. But at one time, this book was uh, pretty expensive, pretty expensive. And just to just to note also, uh, Night Terrors just came out last week, and there is a Punchline Night Terrors book too. So right. just something to think of as well. Plus... I uh, there's a second and third print, which were, you know, kind of laughed at when they first came out, but now actually have a little bit of value. And Zach's favorite, the Ricardo Federici variant is also a, a yeah, is also a really cool book to look after. But Zach will hit you with that line. Yeah, just like Criss Cross. It had a jump a year ago of $150 and 9.8. Now it's 120 Range 100 to 260 is the highest ever in a year. Average sell, I took a second to get that joke across. Average sell is 160. Oh, I see what's going on. It's a 20% drop. That's disgusting. Anyways, mm. yeah, it's a 20% drop. So it's a very stable book. Mm -hmm. Very stable book. Yeah, I would consider that you get this punchline immediately. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I think it's, it's a cool cover too because Hella Risen's kind of an obscure title. So I think it's kind of special that her first appearance came out in that title not just like the main batman run as well right absolutely so. all right we are on to number four on the list and we're calling up a silver age book for this one we got strange tales 138 from 1965 guys and uh as you all know in 1965 you had stan lee and jack kirby doing the good work on this silver age book first appearance of eternity the twin brother of infinity not to be confused but uh, 
This book got some heat back in uh, July of 2022. I guess that would be a year ago, right? Uh, some reason, Marvel went out and trademarked a bunch of things, and Eternity Wars is one of the trademarks, and Eternity Saga. So when that happened, this book took a huge jump, and people were looking at it again. It's a cool book in general anyways. I think it should always be kind of a, a close to a blue chip key yeah. somewhere. You know, somewhere, and there's a good Silver Age book. But... Over the past few years, Marvel has trademarked a bunch of things. Some of them have come to fruition and some of them haven't. But we never know down the line what they're going to do with any of this stuff. Plus, there was a little bit of stuff with uh, Thor Love and Thunder last year too. Where, oh. you know, Eternity and stuff. There was some pictures in the background that people thought they saw Eternity. And, you know, it's one of the elders of the universe. Always shows up for all those those sticky situations in, oh, the, yeah. cosmic, in the cosmic realm. And I, I believe Eternity is like, what, second or third strongest being in the Marvel Universe? Yeah. Somewhere Easy. somewhere around that, that area. Yeah. But not only being the strongest can land you on the drop list. Mm-hmm. Strong smelling can land you on the drop list, too. And this book was not <laughs> smelling too bad a year ago at for CTC 7.0, I believe. It was $259 a year ago. Now it's 169 Range was as low as $55 and as high as $275. Average sale of 161 is a 35% drop. Not too bad. It won't be forever, guys. So, you know, consider getting it right now and not later, an eon ago. Eternity? Yes. It'll last for an eternity? It won't last. It will last to last. All right. Okay, next up on the list, guys, we're going to go all the way up to Wildstorm here because we got the boys. The boys. Issue number three from 2006. Uh, Garth Enos and Derek Robertson did a fantastic job in this whole series and it's cool I, I believe uh, the series actually switches over to Dynamite after like what issue 8 or something, something like, like that. that something like that switches over to Dynamite but if you guys didn't know number 1 is the big key that has all the good guys first appearance and a lot of the bad guys first appearance are in issue three so you have the first team appearance of the seven as well as Starlight's first appearance black noir queen mave a train and homelander oh. actually first appearance in this book as well which is which is huge you know uh a year ago at this time we got the boys season three come, came out and uh did a really really good job as well as you know Anthony Starr portrayed Homelander who this is his first appearance did a, I think a better job portraying the character in the TV show than the actually the comic book uh, character was and then you have Aaron Moriarty who did Starlight who oh. uh, I know was one of Zach's favorites so just some stuff to look out for I don't know in in my opinion you know other than The Walking Dead, this is probably the next best thing, like comic book wise. It seems to kind of like each season that comes out, it goes back up and goes back down. Mm -hmm. But issue one's been staying strong, you know, stays around like over $100, like in, in price point. So I don't know, what is your guys' favorite comic book adaptation to a TV show that you think will stand the test of time? Leave it down in the comment down below. But Zach will hit you with the numbers on this number three. All right, price is a year ago for this really homely mother milkly book was $300 for a CDC 9.8. Now it's $179. Range is 151 to 350. Average sales 232, it's a 40% drop. It's not a bad book to get. Boys is still coming hard, you know, Spice Girls back mm -hmm. in town. They're back together. Again, every single year it seems. So I won't, I won't be a bad pickup to get for a 9.8. Yeah. For a book for a 9.8. Yes. You have to get those Homelander games. Homelander. All right. Next book on the list. We're all the way to number two. And surprisingly, none of us have this book in uh, cover A, which one of mm -hmm. us should get eventually. Strange Academy, number uh... one, 2020. I can't believe this is the number two book on the drop list this week. Scotty Young, Humberto Ramos. All right. Let's run it down for you. First appearance of Emily Bright, Doyle Dormammu, Shay Lee Moonpedal. German Aguilar, Zoe Laveau, Avi, and Eric Borenson, Gustav, Toth, Calvin, and Desi. Like crazy, oh, crazy wow. amount. Crazy amount. But last year, uh, at this time in July, we had uh, Strange Academy Finals came back out. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of like the after the, the first series ended, then they restarted over number one. It's all technically part of the same year, like the freshman year, but they ended it like in a new series. And number one got a, a little bit more of a jump, but I, I would tell you over like the past 
four or five years, this has to be like the best book that's come out in the past four or five years. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's definitely, definitely a good book. You guys want to keep your eye out for a the 1 in 25 and 1 in 50 are both good books to spec on, as well as there's a Peach Momoko magic cover oh, yeah. that is also pretty fire as well. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. But peaches. how far has the Academy dropped? Well, with the peaches. <laughs> Price a year ago for CDC 9.8 was $366. Now it's 218. Range 166 to 525. Average sells 306. It's a 40% drop Ooh. once again. There was a time not that long ago it was actually a hundred dollar book and I should have just picked them up by the dozens. Mm -hmm. My mistake. But I do have a couple of variants in there. It's a really great book to spec on. I think everybody in this house is specking on this book. So just Once need to get more. Who's coming with us? Yes. Who's coming with us on the spec train? All right, guys. And the number one drop book of the week is Fantastic Four, issue number 33 from 1964, also Silver Age, also Jack Kirby and Stan Lee. And this is first appearance of Atuma. Mm, no, not, Atuma. not the Arnold Schwarzenegger, ah. Atuma. But uh, if you guys didn't know Atuma, he is an Atlantic barbarian, kind of like Conan from Under the Sea. Under the Sea. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he made a big splash in Wakanda Ooh. Forever, uh, the movie, which is uh, the Black Panther 2. And, uh, you know, I think in the comics overall, he's not as big of a character. He only has really one other big key, his second appearance in Tales to Astonish 64. But... It's kind of hard to say, like, how well they used him in the movie. I mean, uh, spoiler, he didn't die, so yeah. obviously we could see him again, but he's supposed to be more of, like, a villain-type character, and it seemed like the whole movie he was just taking orders from Namor. He, like, didn't really have an opinion. I thought maybe they'd have them, like, clash a little bit, and, like, he would want to kill more people, and Namor would want to, like, take it easy, but it was more like just Namor was just shouting out orders, and, and Atuma was just doing whatever he said. This book got super, super, super expensive, and now it's still a really good book, but it's definitely uh, taken a huge, huge hit. I don't know if it'll quite recover to where it was before this, but uh, Zach will let you know. Uh, price, uh, price a year ago for a CGC 7.5 was $700 a year ago. Now it's $400. Range, uh, $379 to $700. Average sales $552. It's a 43% drop. Honestly, guys, this is a classic Silver Age book. It's early numbers. No one's going to be mad at you for getting it. I actually picked it up and got rid of it. I might pick it up again because it's just a, such a great cover. It's, it's just one of those characters that you don't know where it's going to go. But if you're into Fantastic Four, you need to get this. It's part of the original 50. You have to get one through 50 at least if you're a big Fantastic Four fan. And you got some cash in the bank. Mm -hmm. Got to. Mm -hmm. Got to. I think this would be a pretty good pickup. I think number one pickup. Number one pickup of the week. Is Strange Academy or number one? Ooh, I, I would agree. say number one would be that. I think that has the most gains. Mm -hmm. I think for classic sake, for the price, Strange Tales 138. It's very bargain based book right there. Eternity is always going to be a cosmic being. You can't kill Eternity. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> He's going to be there for a long time. Like us. On YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You're going nowhere. But, you know, it is, yeah, back to uh, Atuma, though. Be, he, obviously, he's going to be back in some form. It's just kind of interesting. If they do a Namor solo and then they use him as the villain, it's going to be, you know, I feel like they should have given him a little bit more in Wakanda to kind of bring out his his personality a little bit. He obviously likes to fight. That's all he got. That's all. Mm -hmm. But he is a barbarian, so that's what barbarians like. All right, guys. As usual, if you like and love the drop list as much as we like dropping it, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when we're coming on live, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear where your guys' is favorite comic book TV show adaptation is and what you think has the most longevity to as well. You know, definitely I think Walking Dead might take the cake, but there's definitely some runners up. Some new some new blood in there for sure as well. But Zach, what else we got? Yeah, you gotta share how you do that is. You know, you have to be a salesperson. You gotta be this, you gotta be that, you gotta be exploring the world. You gotta like pork, you gotta like eating pork, you gotta like singing long songs, all of that. 
That's how you become Kermit the Frog. Ha 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 He does love the port. He does love the port. He loves it. All yes. right, guys. Until we see you next time, stay safe and remember. Get those sizzle pork gains. Get them. Yum. Yum.